Hello again, guys. I've uh, decided to make another tutorial video about merging stuff, merging meshes and armatures to your model, like clothes and hair. Just because a lot of you seem to have some uh, trouble with that. So I'll try to make this a quick but an in, in depth video. So uh, I imported my model in here. I took out her hair and her clothes just for this tutorial and uh, I added screencast keys so you can actually see what I'm going to press. So we're just going to give her some hair and some clothes. I have a nice cheerleader outfit for her. I guess we should do a quick thing about moving around in Blender. So middle mouse button, you can uh, kind of rotate around your model and if you hold shift and middle mouse you can pan and uh, mouse wheel just zooms in so those are probably the three basic movement buttons you're gonna need for this so uh, let's start with the hair since that includes armatures and we're gonna merge two armatures so we're gonna go into cats plugin import model I already have my hair here. Import that in. It already looks pretty well. Pretty good. We just need to move that around. But uh, once you've imported your hair, you just go ahead and click Fix Model. Now this this is a button you should always abuse in Cat's Plugin in Blender. Because uh, you don't have to worry about this. Because uh, that will probably fix about 70% of any issues you're gonna get when it comes to merging so don't be afraid to hit that that guy over there uh, on this drop down menu you can see all your armatures and the hair armature is called just armature and my body would be armature 001 so you can uh, use the drop down menu to pick the armature you want and just hit fix it's a good idea to fix both both armatures before merging. But I want to change the color of the hair a little bit. So I'm just going to go over here to materials. And I'm going to mess around with these a little bit. I want to make it nice and purple. I guess that's more pink. That's fine. Let's just take this. Make it a little bit, something like that maybe. Make that a bit, there you go, that already looks a lot better. Okay, now we have the right color we want, so I'm just gonna click on my armature here, the, oh sorry, the uh, hair. And I'm gonna press G, that means move. And then we're gonna use either X, Y, or Z, depending on which direction you wanna move it. X would be horizontal and Y would be depth and Z would be the height, G and Z. There we go. I'm just going to pull that right around there. Then we can use G and Y to pull it a little bit forward. There you go. That looks nice. There is just a little bit of clipping going around on the sides. So let me just use S for scale. And then we're going to use S and X to make it a little bit wider. No, that's probably too much. Let's go back a little bit. There we go. Yes, sir, that all looks perfect so G and then X Y or Z to move it around you don't have to hold the buttons just press G and after that the direction you want to pull it and S and which direction to scale it just press it you don't have to hold them pretty simple Obviously, you can just move it around with your mouse, but that's not really uh, accurate in my opinion. 
Okay, so now that we have the hair when we where we want it, we can go ahead and fix our model again. Fix both of the armatures, the hair and the body. So so we have everything where we want it. Click on our body first and then hold shift and click on our hair. You'll see the hair turns orange while the armature turns orange. And then we hit control J and that should merge the thing. Then we just hit fix model. Now it should all be merged together, but now we probably have a problem with the armatures being connected to the wrong spot. So we're just gonna select our armature, go to edit mode, and we'll just see here. Well, actually they seem to be connected quite well. Sometimes what happens is when you merge the hair, the hair bones are for some reason connected to your hips. Now, if that's the case, you can just look at the lines here and select one of your bones. You can go to this little bone icon over here. And here you'll see the parent bone. So this would, in some cases, read hips. But we, want, we don't want that. We want it connected to the head since it's hair. Now, that looks fine. That's connected to the head. Bangs are connected to the head. Everything seems a Gucci. Now let's go ahead and go to pose mode again and see if everything works. There you go. The hair is officially attached to our head, just like we want it. Now then, I'm going to show you how to merge the clothes. Now for the clothes, I don't have any armatures. It's just meshes. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to import our model. We have our costume over here. Fix that model. Now that we imported our clothes, they are all just one single mesh. Let me just fix that real quick. There we go. Now it looks right. Yeah, it's just one single mesh and I'm gonna uh, separate them into different parts so I can actually put them on the model. Now to do that we are gonna go to edit mode. I'm gonna change my selecting thing to the circle and make sure you have this toggle x-ray thing selected. That way when you start selecting it actually selects everything even the stuff that's in the back if you don't have it selected, you'll just select the front. And that's not what you want. You want to select everything. This makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to go around and rotate too much. Then you can hit Control L. That helps selecting all the stuff. Then you're going to hit P. Separate by selection. And now we have two meshes. Now what we can do is we can take the top and use G again and X, move that roughly to where it should be. Somewhere like that, a little bit up. Move ahead onto the front like that. I guess we can scale it down a little bit. S and X to scale it. Something like that. S and Y scale it from the front. That's fine. It's not perfect. We can select the mesh again, go to sculpt mode and fix all these. I personally like using the draw tool for this, but sometimes that doesn't work. I think I explained all this in the other tutorial as well. Maybe we can try and use the crab. Pull this front here a little bit towards the center. I like to leave everything a little bit loose for VR chat. 
Just because sometimes when you do emotes and stuff, there's gonna be some clipping. And you don't want, to want your uh, business out there in front of everybody. Elastic deform, that works pretty well too. Yeah, that looks, that looks really nice. Now I am gonna fast forward this a little bit. I'm gonna separate the rest of the clothes and just move them on the model. And then we can move around to the uh, merging again. Here we go, we have our clothes connected, well not connected, but over our body. And we have them all separate over here. So technically what I could do is first merge these together as one separate part again, except for the uh, little donut pom pom whatever you call these so that and that so this one this one this one this one this one this one and this one and then hit control j again and now they are all part of the and these two we can merge these together there we go now we have the scrunchies as their own thing and the clothes because the scrunchies on the hair are going to be controlled by the face and the rest of the clothes are gonna be controlled by the body. That's why I separated them. And now we are gonna merge them with the body. Now, since these are only meshes and the rest of our body is an armature, we can't merge them right away. We have to click on the little arrow next to the armature and here's our body mesh. Now we can merge the clothes with the body. So I'm gonna Click on these, control. Actually, I'm just gonna shift click, select them both, and then control click on the body. And hit control J, and there we go. We merged the meshes together. Personally, I don't like using armatures with my clothes. Just for the reason that sometimes the armatures do get messed up, even if you fix your model well enough. There we go, now our whole uh, body with the clothes and stuff, everything is just one mesh. But we probably still need to do some weight painting. Let's go to pose mode and move this around. Yeah, there you go, the clothes don't move with the body. So we are gonna go click on our, uh, wait a minute, first we gotta separate it by materials again in our CADS plugin. Wait for that to go in, there we go. We have everything separated again. Actually, now that we're here, I'm just gonna delete this. We don't need it. And there we go. That is all part of the same thing again. So I need to go to edit mode and separate these again. P select by separate by selection. There we go. Try and rename these again. Go these clothes. Rename donuts. There we go. Now we can give them different data. So let's find our clothes layer. We're gonna go to our Object data properties, the upside down triangle. We're going to click the little down arrow here. Delete all groups. And then we're going to go to our wrench icon here. Modifier properties. Add the modifier. Data transfer. 
select the body as the source, check vertex data, check vertex groups, generate data layers and apply. And do the same thing for the donuts. We almost forgot to delete these again. Over here, data transfer, I'm gonna use the face, vertex data, vertex groups, generate layers, apply and fix model. Now let's see if we can uh, get these working again. And there we go. Let's see if we can get this working. Pose. There we go. That works. The little donuts move with the head. Select this. Oh, wrong way. X. And there you go. And there you go. That's not that difficult. And there we have it. Nice little cheerleader outfit. So, uh, yeah, I hope that helped. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. And uh, don't forget to add your comments down below. If you have any questions, you can uh, join my Discord channel. I'll leave a link. And uh, we can uh, try and figure things out together over there. Yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.